Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and I am an educator at the Children's Museum of Houston and today we are back with another at-home educator moment. And today we are going to be making and playing a traditional Korean game which is called Chegi Chagi. And it's basically a Korean version of hacky sack that is played by a lot of kids and a lot of families, especially around the time of Lunar New Year and it goes back to about 2,000 years ago and it's still played today and basically the goal is to try to use your legs and your feet to keep the jeggy in the air as long as you can for as many kicks as you can in a row. So you don't need a lot of supplies for this so hopefully you'll be able to find some stuff at home that you can use and make your own so let's get started. So all you're going to need to do this is a sheet of tissue paper. I had this lying around uh, that I had for some extra gifts that didn't get wrapped. It's about a little bit bigger than the regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. Um, a rubber band. A pair of scissors. And probably the most important part is you're going to need either, these are quarters, but if you have metal washers or marbles or something around, you just want something with a little bit of weight to it because that's going to go inside the jeggy to give it a little bit of heft to make it easier to kick. So what you're going to do first is I'm going to fold this tissue paper in half, hot dog style, lengthwise. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut little frays along the open edge. And what this is going to do is not only make it look a lot cooler when it's in the air, but it's going to provide a little bit of drag and air resistance. So when you kick it, it'll fall a little bit slower, just enough so you can keep it in the air longer. Okay, so I've got my tissue paper all cut up. Notice I folded it over and cut the open edge at the same time. That way I didn't have to do each side once. I can do them both at the same time. And so what I'm going to do now is take my stack of quarters. And if you have washers or marbles, you can use that instead. But quarters are just what I had lying around. And you're going to place it at the top. About probably one inch from the top. Then fold over once. And then just keep folding it over making sure that the quarters or washers or whatever you have stay in the middle. And so now I've got it folded like that. My quarters are in the center. What I'm going to do is take each edge and fold it over like this. And so now my quarters are at the bottom. My frays are at the top, and the last step I'm going to do is take this rubber band and wrap it around just above the bottom, and wrap it around a few times to make sure it's nice and tight, and there you go. There is our jeggy, and now let's go test it out and see how many we can do. Alright everyone, as you can tell I am not very good at this. The most I could do is three or four in a row. Maybe you'll have better luck at home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this at-home educator moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. Once again, my name is Kevin, and today we played Checky Jackie.